For those who don't know me, my name is Kasim Akram. I'm a 20-year-old entrepreneur currently based in Bali. First things, 8.30 a.m. right now. Just woke up about half an hour ago. I've had so many questions from guys from my Instagram asking me what is life like in Bali, especially as a 22 year old as an entrepreneur. What does life look like? What do I do day to day? What's my routine? So I wanna show you guys. Guys, just finished Muay Thai. One half hour session, it was, it was good. Loved it. Uh, tough, it's always tough, man. Let me just say this about rehab. It's tough. Over so now, uh, as you can see, uh, where I am is this really cool like uh, fitness village. I'm gonna go in here, which is where I go every day. It has like an ice bath, sauna, uh, pool. So yeah, see you guys inside there. That's where I'm gonna be spending most of the day, I think. So guys, just wanna do a quick segment called uh, Ice Bath Talks. One big thing that I wanted to kind of point out is that Bali kind of gives you a level of luxury that you can't really get anywhere else unless you want to spend like hundreds of dollars every single day. Stuff like where I am and I'll kind of do it at the end of the day I'll kind of break, break down my costs like how much it costs to do the shit that I'm doing every single day. But essentially like I'm doing everything I could dream of doing. Muay Thai in the morning, look at an amazing class with amazing trainers, uh, ice bath, pool. I also been stuff like if I was in Dubai for example where I used to live and I still will live in maybe in the future. I just couldn't really get this stuff if I didn't want to pay, you know, like $200, you know? I think um, this is one of the reasons why I'm starting to love Bali a lot. It's because you get a level of convenience and luxury um, that you just can't really get anywhere else. I think it's, uh, it's one of the best parts. So guys, this is the breakfast, steak and eggs. Looks good. I'm excited to eat this. One of the best parts of Bali, I guess, this steak meal, Anywhere else, like Dubai, London, but it costs like 25 pounds, like, you know, 20, 30 dollars. But here, it's like, uh, I think it's like six pounds for like a steak and eggs. So that's a perfect breakfast in my opinion. The, the food is really good quality and there's really good choice. And uh, it's also really healthy. And uh, yeah, it costs like, I mean, not nothing, but it costs very cheap compared to anywhere else. Yo guys, so uh, we're getting to work. So we're set up. So monitor, laptop, has a little stand as well. Uh, I'll show you, but it has a little stand. And then I got a keyboard. I've also got this sick nose. Yo, geez, just finished on my trim. Uh, came just around the corner. Uh, just, I just wanted to trim tonight. And uh, yeah, it looks good, man. Let me everything. Got beard lined up. Uh, obviously lined up and smooth. Med Mexican food's what I normally get. Um, and yeah, I know that most of you, man, in the UK probably expect to pay like 28, so somewhere from 28 to 40 pounds for this same trim. I want to get. I want you guys to guess how much I pay for this trim, right? Take a minute. Pay six pound, bro. Six pound for this trim right here. It's clean beard, like a whole like whole experience. You know, the massages of the head, just get like a bit of fucking um, washes my hair, all sort of shit. So yeah, man, that's another reason I love Bali. Just the experiences you get, the luxuries you get for like no no money. You know, means I can come get a fresh trim every week, and like uh, I don't even need to care about how much it costs. So love it. I'm gonna go back to one last now, just around the corner. And uh, see you guys there. Yo guys, um, so just finished up with work for now, but um, essentially my, my breaks here are the best breaks I've ever taken in my life. So what I do is I um, first go in the sauna for 10 minutes and today some fucking big massive uh, beast guy cranked that, cranked that up to like full max heat bro. It was like literally like sitting, sitting in an oven. I wanted the audience to feel the heat from the fire, the fear. Um, so it's pretty intense, but I stayed in there for like 10, 10 ish minutes. Then I came outside, shower, of course, just to wash off the sweat, and then I went straight to the ice bath. I did like, I don't know how many, I think close to 100 breaths, and then I uh, jumped out, and then jumped straight in this pool. So you see here, jumped straight in this pool, like around the urge. And then what happens for me is like, when I do that, my, I don't know if what it is, but like I can breathe so much, like, my breath is so much better and my I can hold so much air in my lungs, I guess. And my uh, I can hold my breath for like minutes. So I don't even know how long. So two things that I do is I just go like face down in the water. I just like just, my body just feels weightless. It's so nice. It's like the, the most relaxing thing I've ever done in my life. Obviously it's quite nice, you know, having this view of like just, see, just blue, you know, right? So yeah, feel great right now. Gonna finish up, uh, take some back and go back home now. Um, get ready because I have my event, which I'm speaking at, my talk. Gonna go back, get changed, make sure everything's ready. And then I uh, go over there. Um, and, uh, and I'll just see you guys there. I've got like an hour or so, so I'm just like in this working space that you can see here. 
sensor, so it's called. It's that core in space and balney um, that got ready to work at. So I'm gonna work here for a little bit, finish up the presentation, rock up some more stuff uh, for agency, I think. I'll show you around here first, it's very nice. It's um, something where a lot of people think that in, you know, in Bali, all you can really work at is cafes or restaurants. But there's actually places like this, you know, co-working spaces that are actually really nice. I'll show you right now. I'll show you upstairs. It's a bit dark, but it'd be better at sunset. I'll just show you. Let's go. As you can see, it's pretty um, nice view. It's like a... Get a whole view of uh, Changu. This is the area we're at, uh, like one of the most popular parts of Bali. So yeah, it's pretty chill. You can work up here, eat up here. I'm gonna go back downstairs and uh, finish up some work, like I said, and then we're gonna go right over to the talk. Yo guys, so finished up with work. I spent like an hour, launched some ads for a client, did some work on the on outreach from my agency and some other stuff. And um, so finished up with that now. I'm gonna go ahead in a few minutes, just go down to do my talk. If you don't know already, Bali has quite a big network of entrepreneurs. It's almost the same as like Dubai. So because of that, there's quite a lot of you know entrepreneurial you know, kind of events, business events. So I put all the stuff together today in terms of the presentation, what I'm gonna be talking about, and I'm uh, gonna go do that now, and I'll just shall see you guys uh, after. So. Yo guys, so just finished up with my talk. Really enjoyed it. It was really good fun. Uh, for my first talk, I think it went pretty well. I, right here, actually, like I didn't, didn't say already, I'll put a cost, uh, cost breakdown of today so you can see how relatable it is for you. See if you can move out here. But I think, in my opinion, if you're thinking about moving to Bali, I think come on. I think there's no reason as to not come to Bali, experiencing it properly. Don't get distracted. Don't go to clubs. Just stay grounded. Focus on growth. Try all the things that are here. Um, other than that, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. This is my day. And um, for me, this is a really good day in Bali. In my opinion, you know, woke up, had a great start to the day, did a lot of work, trained my tide, um, jumped in the ice bath in the sauna. I obviously did something new, which is to do a talk. And now I'm going to finish up with what I'm doing here and then go eat dinner. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to talk about. See you guys very soon. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Much love.